okay hello to everybody this is a new video uh, about the new add-ons that I'm working on uh, to create lens flares as you can see I can activate my flare that is this one uh, I'm working on an HDRI uh, background and uh, I have to move this element that is called controller uh, I can move it and I can put wherever I want uh, I can put it on the light source that I want to to have a, a lens flare uh, this element is already uh, parented to the camera and so as I move my camera uh, the, the effects will be uh, something like the reality okay uh, this is our flares moving in the space um, you can see that the iris are disappearing or appearing uh, as they will do in reality I remember you that there's nothing physical correct in what I'm doing right now this is just an artistic uh, instrument that you can use to compose your your scenes and uh, for now it's working only in EV uh, in real time uh, the goal is to make something that you can use like an add-on uh, and to have a palette uh, in which you can select uh, different parameters to adjust uh, your lens flares uh, as you as you like um, so uh, right now uh, we can take a look at some of these parameters uh, that now are here uh, but you will find in a correct palette uh, easy to to edit I think that it's important to modify the dimension of the lens flare so there is the possibility to to make it bigger or smaller uh, with the bigger lens flare uh, you have more light as you can see uh, and you have a bigger iris effects and bigger streaks uh, you will be able to to choose the amount on of the dirt on your lens so this is the dirt uh, this is a very dirty lens as you can see there are elements that are multiplying uh, dark elements and light elements that are adding to your scene um, so it's a complex effect this one and uh, I've added uh, the possibility to now th these effects has uh, an aberration uh, chromatic aberration um, I have to say that this is the only uh, elements that I have to uh, to use uh, as an image uh, this is a PNG uh, all the other elements are procedural there is the possibility to to make more intensity in the light this is the intensity and as you see I have an effect that I don't like so much because it's too too lightened is very fake uh, but sometimes it could be uh, useful if you have a, a scenes with a lot of light uh, it will become useful to to have more uh, intensity on your flare um, and then there are other parameters that I'm working right now uh, because uh, if you uh, move your focal length uh, now I was working on uh, 35 millimeters uh, but if you turn it down more uh, like this I go to 20 okay I go to 20 millimeters uh, maybe that uh, your lens flare uh, become too 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 small or the the elements become un unnatural uh, and so I'm working on a parameters that will help you to uh, compensate this problem this is a focal compensation is the name uh, I call it but I don't know if it's correct all these parameters we have one more controller now uh, that is um, the color of the light now we have RGB different controllers um, in the final version I want to have um, a circle in which you can choose your uh, your color but uh, you can add or subtract uh, RGB the tones to, to modify uh, your your light now we have a red 
lens flare uh, that can be useful for morning or or for the last hours of the day uh, but you can reach each color that you desire so we can have a, a green lens flare like this this is completely green okay and in the final version I want to you to to choose from different uh, template that uh, are already made uh, of these flares um, for now it's all as you can see these are all 3d elements uh, putting inside the camera okay and these are procedural so there's no resolution limits and they are correct only when seen from the camera okay i've said too much bye bye see you next time have a good night